Okay, so for this demo we're going to show um, the power of patterns in the public cloud um, by taking you through the beta that we have for Pure App on SoftLayer. Um, for the purpose of this demo, we're going to use uh, IBM Worklight in a mobile application as a demo, um, kind of take you through the process of uh, creating and deploying that environment to support a mobile application in a public cloud. Now, just as context, let's look real quickly at what you have to do to provision a application environment in a public cloud. You know, certainly using a public cloud um, is far easier than standing up infrastructure yourself. You don't have to rack and stack servers and configure storage and networks and, and, uh, and do many of those infrastructure tasks. Um, but you still have to have knowledge about the application. You still have to understand the physical resources that you want or the virtual resources that you want. And you still have to bring the pieces together yourself. So let's go to SoftLayer first and just kind of, at a very high level, quickly show what you have to do to get the base infrastructure provision to support an application like a mobile app on, soft, on, on Worklight. So here we are at the, um, the IBM SoftLayer um, site, uh, IBM's public cloud site. And let's just kind of walk through what you would have to do to provision a server uh, to, to uh, uh, create the servers that you need to support the application. What we'll do first is kind of the web tier of the application. So we'll go through and configure a couple of servers to support the Worklight servers, the app servers that sit in front of the mobile app. This application actually has some backend servers too. You can see here we need two servers. Uh, we need to pick, uh, you know, what kind of CPUs do we want so we get the performance we need. Uh, it's a public cloud, so you got to decide what data center you want to run in uh, geographically. Uh, what operating system you want to install. How much memory do you need to support this application? Uh, what kind of storage do you need? So you have to make all these choices about the infrastructure and the infrastructure resources that you need available to support the execution of this application. Of course, making these choices depends on having a lot of knowledge about the software and about the performance you're trying to achieve. This is a public cloud. you got to pick bandwidth that you need, what kind of network links you want to have, at what speed and how redundant, uh, what kind of public IP addresses do you need to assign to this application. Um, so you can see a lot of choices that you have to make um, to provision the resources for this environment. Um, now, this was just for the web tier. I'd have to do a similar set of activities to provision servers for the data tier and storage for the data tier. Um, and then once the public cloud gave me all those resources, I still have to go through the process of installing and configuring all the software that's needed to support that mobile application. So this just gives me the infrastructure. I still have to uh, install app servers and database servers and work light and do tuning and configuration, install the application components, connect all that stuff together. So while the public cloud makes it vastly easier to get the infrastructure stood up, um, there's still a lot of software and application level knowledge and work involved in building out the environment and getting to the point that you actually have your mobile application uh, up and running on the cloud. So I think there's a better way, and, and that better way is to use software patterns, uh, as we've been just talking about with Pure Application System in the public cloud. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and actually log into Pure Application on SoftLayer. Um, this is our pattern, um, our Pure Application System technology made available in the public cloud with SoftLayer. And I'm going to actually define that same mobile environment using a pattern instead of building it up from individual infrastructure components. So here I'm creating a new pattern. I'm using the IBM Mobile Platform as my foundation. It says, hey, I want to deploy a mobile app. Um, you can see as the pattern editor comes up that it's been preloaded with everything needed to actually describe the mobile environment that I want to deploy into. All I have to do is add my mobile application to the definition, uh, give it a name, and then select and upload the actual implementation of the mobile app. So what I'm doing here is I'm customizing the pattern definition to actually include the app itself in addition to the base middleware or software infrastructure. Connect the app to my platform. Now, I might also want this to be highly available and fault tolerant, so I'm going to add a policy into the pattern to say, hey, make this mobile platform uh, highly available. I always want at least uh, two instances, and, and maybe I want this to be elastic as well. Uh, so I'm going to use a policy to say, hey, use CPU performance as the metric to decide when to scale up or scale down uh, this application uh, as demand changes. Save the pattern. And I've now created, in a few steps, 
all the information the cloud needs to actually do all of the work for me to install this application and get it up and running on the public cloud. So I'm going to go back to the pattern console, I'm going to click deploy, um, and you can see here we're going to deploy onto SoftLayer, so we're going to deploy an instance of this to the public cloud. Um, and in a few minutes, um, uh, pure application on software will go through and actually do all the work to deploy that environment, to stand up all the infrastructure, to provision the physical infrastructure like we saw in the soft layer part, uh, but also to do all the software configuration deployment. Now that process takes um, 10 or 15 minutes, so I've kind of sped things up here uh, for the purposes of keeping the demo short. Um, but all of this is happening automatically, hands off, nothing you have to do, and when it completes, um, you'll wind up with a fully functional worklight environment with the app installed, running on the public cloud um, uh, in, in really uh, just a few steps. Uh, prove it here, we'll click on a link, bring up the worklight console and you can see worklight's running and the mobile app is installed. Now the other really powerful thing about patterns uh, and having patterns available in the public cloud with the pure app on soft layer is that you now can very easily move workload back and forth between public and private environments. So let's say I had done this deployment of Worklight and I was using it for development or test, um, and I decided I wanted to deploy on-premise. Or I started out um, as a line of business user quickly building this app and it's now become popular and I want to bring it back in-house and, and own it in central IT. With patterns, that's actually really easy. I can, um, with almost no work, move the definition of this application from the public cloud into my on-premise data center with something like a pure application system rack um, and get the same environment recreated. Let's see how that happens. Um, so what I can do um, here, we're still on pure app on soft layer, is I can go back to my pattern definition. So I'll go back to my pattern definition here, um, select that pattern and click export. And that will export the definition of that pattern with the application components to my local machine. So now I have taken that whole definition off the public cloud. I can switch over to my on-premise peer application system rack, log into that one, go to patterns again, click import this time, select that same file that I just downloaded from the cloud, import it into my on-premise rack, and I've now moved that exact definition and all of its artifacts on-prem, and all I have to do to create that same exact environment over again is click deploy, and you'll see now that the target for this deployment is the local peer app rack, right? and I hit OK, and again, in a few minutes, um, this entire environment will get stood up for me on premise, right? And I've now moved that application. You can, of course, go in the other direction. So patterns give you transparent movement back and forth between public and private environments.